I bring you the spectacle of the century. There will be a blood-curdling cage battle between the scary Sasquatch and the man-eating seal thingy. Try polar bear and walrus? Not gonna happen. Crap, bros. Zach's got the moms and he's making them fight. I'm sending the GPS points. Hurry. Let's go. Flippers for water. Legs for land. Saving, Saving the, the planet, planet with creature power! This place is an icy maze. Run! I can't! They're great for underwater, but flippers don't run! I need to deactivate. Oh no! It's jammed! Crush! Smash! Get dry! Crush! Smash! Get dry! Jeez, bro! Talk about pulling your weight! Take a right! I mean a left! Faster! Faster! I'm going as fast as I can! Huh? Uh oh. Crush! Smash! Get dry! Crush! Hey, Chris, want to go bowling? Ha, it'll be a ball. <laughs> Strike! They don't call me Bowler Bear for nothing. Bowler Bear, Bowler Bear! Oh, no! Are you ready to battle? We're too late. Not if you're riding this. Oh, right, Aviva! Hey! Vamos, I've got an idea. And right after the fight, I'll be signing autographs at the frozen yogurt stand. Let the fight begin! Fight the walrus! Tusk the bear! Fight! 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 What? Why are you dancing? You're supposed to be enemies! Hey, Zach, didn't you know? Polar bears don't dance, and walrus don't rock and roll. But we do! Ha <laughs> ha, the switcheroo worked! The real polar bear and walrus should be living free and in the wild. Uh, so, you want to be part of my show? Losers, get back here! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Sit, doggy. Sit. Hi, Sealy. Oh. 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 <laughs> no. Oh. Oh. Hi. Ruined my chance to be king of the iceberg. You'll pay for this, you wild rat. Uh-oh, arms off bumper, but now they're on me! The colossal squid has sharp suction cups, too! Got an arm! Oh, but you got nine more! Whoa, and colossal squid tentacles have spinning hooks! And they've got me! Ah. But listen, colossal squid, and listen close. So what if you've got spinning hooks? So what if you've got the largest eye in the world? As large as a large pizza. You don't scare me. Can you take the shake? Okay then, Martin, no! But Chris, I was just gonna ask you the same thing. Why? Because we're sinking right towards underwater volcanoes and they're active. <gasps> but the squid just chewed off one of my fins. But I'm drifting straight into a pool of bubbling lava. Ah, his spinning hooks are shredding my back. A volcano's erupting! Chewing through the glass! <laughs> Giant gas-filled rocks hurtling towards me! <gasps> Giant gas-filled rocks hurtling towards me! Oh, gotcha! Whoa! Good 
Jonah! Hang on, Mama Whale! Woohoo! Hurry! When he's done destroying my whale suit, he's gonna devour me! Uh, excuse me, your colossalness. Uh, don't you know it's not nice to eat creature rescuers? <laughs> ah! oh, I got no strength to fight back! She's almost torn through my suit! The sperm whale has only five minutes of air! It's too deep for us to help you. Did anybody say, uh-oh? Oh, no, stay away, Bumper! Save yourself! Oh, what a buddy. He's trying to save us with a little boom clip. Whoa. Bumper, was that you? I don't think so. Only one creature could do that. The loudest animal on Earth. A, a full-grown full bull sperm whale. whale. A direct hit from his boom click could knock down a small house. It totally stunned the colossal squid. Whoa. He's bigger than an 18-wheeler truck. The biggest tooth predator in the history of planet Earth. Battle between a colossal squid and a bull sperm whale. A face-off between the largest eye and the biggest brain in the creature world. Whoa! The, the sperm, sperm whale, whale wins. wins! Come on, let's go! Hang in there, Mom! We're heading to air! Yes! She made it! Now that was a whale of a rescue. She's still right outside. Martin, see if you can get some Lynx fur while you have the chance. You guys will need it when the Lynx suit is done. Lynx suit? Cool. <gasps> the last Hispid. Wait, no, stop! He's not from here! Huh. Oh! I got the fur, but she's gonna get the hair. Well, I got the disc. It's done. Coming at ya. Activate Link's power. Hang on, his bed. I'm coming for ya. I gotta get there first. Oh, man, he got the warm suit. <gasps> Aviva, quick, we just need something, anything, to make me look like a snowshoe hare. Yes, I think I found something. Wow. Hey, Lynx, over here. You should really stick to snowshoe hares, not endangered hispids. Ah! Whoa! Yeah! Nice one, dude! But what are you? You definitely got the better suit for this adventure! Gotcha! But don't worry, buddy. I'm a friendly lynx. Chris, I got him! We're good! Yeah! Chris? Brother! Shh! Snow diving technique! Let's get out of here! That was a nice no-running rescue. Oh, yeah. And now this lizard's got to get somewhere warm. Mission accomplished. I'm sure glad we found you guys. We made some mistakes. Sorry about that. But we did our best to fix them. And now you're on your way home. Yeah, thanks partly to your winter-adapted cousins, the Snowshoe Hares. Those snow runners, the hair, and the lynx are awesome! Speaking of snow runners, when are we picking up the guys? On our way back. They had something they wanted to do. It's right around that time of year, so enjoy the treats. Here you go. Carrots, anyone? Present for you. Bye, Avalanche. Thanks for the help. Quick, Martin, 
With walrus power, we can find the pearl before they do. Guys, hang on! Jimmy's sending you the whisker attachment disc. Way to save the day, Aviva! Okay, if I were a walrus, I'd use my whiskers to feel in the mud. Sifting through with walrus whisker power. Gotta find that pearl. <gasps> Jack Watts, it's seven o'clock, Martin. I can't understand you, Chris. You've got the Arctic pearl in your mouth. <laughs> uh, Martin, you said that a little loud, too. Martin, go long. <laughs> got it. Swim, Martin! Hey, Zackbots, is this what you want? Ha! Good walrus move, Martin! <sighs> Not good enough, Chris! Help! Over here! Hang on, bro. I've got an idea that might work. All I need now is a clam. Haven't you eaten enough? Ha! Found one! An octopus can't resist a tasty clam. Tentacles to, to the, the creature, creature rescue. rescue! Oh, that's gonna cost me! The herd's in trouble, Chris. After 13 minutes without air, they're becoming really weak. And after 20, they drown. It's been 14 minutes. But this thing's a maze of numbers and buttons. It'll take forever to dismantle it. We have no choice. Let's give Zack the pearl so the herd can breathe. Wait a second, guys. Zack and I spent a summer together at science camp. Maybe I can crack the code. Not so fast, little Miss Smarty Pants. Zack's favorite number is 22. He has six toes on his left foot, eats four radish sandwiches a day, his favorite color is chartreuse, and his favorite person is himself. Oh, you think you're so smart, smarty pants? Well, I've got other seal thingies up my sleeve. <laughs> yeah, Wait, you did it! Breathe, walrus buddies, breathe! Now we've got to save Blobby. One arctic furrow coming up, Donita. Thanks to my Insta-Freeze device, they're not going anywhere. Yeah. Ice flow lockdown! Let's see them get out of this one. You're trapped, wild rats, and I've got the baby seal thingy. Give me the pearl! <laughs> oh, we've only got 20 seconds left of air. And this ice, it's 20 centimeters thick. We can't break through it. That's thick enough to hold a two and a half ton truck. <laughs> the best bro I ever had, Martin. 10 seconds, nine, eight. <sighs> Back at you, Chris. Four, three. Unbelievable! Ice smashing, smashing heads. heads! They're free! You know, Martin, did you ever get the feeling that voles are the main winter food for lots of predators? Oh, yeah. Like, the voles couldn't survive winter without the subnivian zone, and the foxes, weasels, owls, coyotes, and bobcats couldn't survive winter without the voles. Oh, great! Everyone's trying to eat us. Oh, uh, hey, look at the time. I uh, wouldn't want to overstay our welcome in Volville. Nope, wouldn't want to do that. We'll see you, Rolo. It's been fun. Quick, let's get out of here, bro. Oof. Huh? Where'd that snowbank come from? <gasps> oh, uh, hi. You're not a snowbank, are you? You're an ermine! Rolo, run! These weasels are like furry snakes on legs. They're burrow and tunnel hunting specialists built for bending and twisting in tight spaces. Tell me about it and hang on. Whoa! Yeah. Rocket Jet to Tortuga, come in. Well, well, it's about time. Where are you guys? We're being chased by a weasel under the snow. Or not. There they are. It worked. We found you. 
and saved you. Even though we shouldn't have, we've been calling you forever. Uh, our ringers were off. Yeah, we kind of lost track of time. Sorry. No problem, thanks to my heat amplifier machine. See, it took a while, but we found you under all that snow. Oh, no! Oh, yes, we did. We mean, oh, no, you destroyed the Subnivian Zone. Subnivian Subnivi who? The Subnivian Zone, the space under the snow cover. All the voles depend on it to keep them warm and survive in the winter. Oh, no, Rolo's nest. Her babies, they're shivering. They're too cold. Oh, no. We're so sorry, little voles. We didn't know. Oh, we've got to save these voles. And the only way to do that is to restore the Subnivian Zone. Fast! But there's no snow coming in for days. We can't just make snow. Or can we? Water all set. Aviva? Thanks, Jimmy. Aquamisting nozzle ready. We're good to go, guys. Ha! I love it when we get to use one of my favorite creature powers of all. Thanks to one of my favorite creature pals of all. Incoming! Torpedo the Peregrine Falcon. Activate Falcon, Falcon Power! To the clouds! Peregrine Falcon speed! Got it! To, to the, the Subnivian Zone, Zone rescue. rescue! For the voles and all the creatures that depend on it. Jimmy, turn on the water. Let's hope this works. Come on, freeze, freeze, freeze. All right, yes, snow. Here comes the snow! Yeah! The snow is coming! The snow is coming! All right! The snow is coming! You guys don't need this anymore. Not with the warmth and power of the Subnivian Zone. Oh, no, you don't. Regeneration. I'm gonna need all my Octo Strength for this. Gotcha! Okay, guys, no hurry! Look, the deactivation button. Oh, great. Of course, it has to be right between a swarm of arms. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh! Ah! Don't worry, guys. Those are my arms, not Seven's. Retreat! Octopus Ink Defense! This is tougher than I thought. Activating Octopus Camouflage. Perfect, he doesn't see us. Remember guys, all you gotta do is touch that deactivation button when you get close enough. Easy for her to say. Okay, Martin, you lost the suits, so I'm sending you in to deactivate. What? I said I was sorry. <laughs> Good luck, bro. And Chris, you'll be the decoy. The decoy? As in, you who come after me, giant sea monster decoy? That's right, Chris, let's find a new species of kiss. Closer? Closer! Uh oh! Uh -oh. Chris, decoy! Seven! Over here, buddy! Nice, uh, teeth! Hurry, Martin, while he's distracted! Just a little closer! Ugh, missed! Ah, uh, Aviva! Any time now! Hold on, Chris! Jet propulsion! Uh-oh! I'm running out of octopus tricks! I've used the ink defense, arm regeneration, camouflage, and jet propulsion! We just can't get close enough! Use all the features at once! You can do it, Aviva! Okay, Octopod. Don't fail me now. So, you want to play hardball, do you, Mr. Monster? Check out these Octo moves. Ink defense. Camouflage power. Arm power! I gotta 
a clear shot. Quick! Closer! I can't hold him much longer! Get ready! This is it! And jet propulsion power! Martin, deactivate! Got it! Got it! Deactivate! Got it! Yes! It worked! Woo! The, the suits, suits are safe. safe! And Seven's back to normal. Sorry, Seven, but those are ours. And you know what? Octopus features really are like superhero powers. <laughs>